instead of hard time coming back. So Man, I thought so he was just going to go all in. Yeah, me too. When I saw the bailing nest, I thought, okay, going for a bailing bust makes kind of sense. Yeah. Especially after he scouted that there are no tanks. You elaborated a little bit on it, how it uh, was very vulnerable, vulnerable to a bailing attack, and uh, that's exactly what he should have done. It would have worked, I think. Yeah, I think so too. Um, I if not... I if mean, not, it would have at least done enough damage so that he could try to drone up with three bases yeah. again. He would have been behind in tech, but at the same time, he would have had the better economy. But, well, with the play that we've seen, uh, I have to say that Phoenix just made the wrong decision. Yeah. It was, a, it was a situation that you are normally not prepared for because you don't think that those Hellions yeah. sneak into your main base and even if they sneak into the main base, killing 13 drones mm. is just amazing. So all your timings go to hell, all your strategies yeah. are thrown out the window and I think that we will see a different type of Phoenix this game. And the real painful thing is it all comes down to that spine crawler moving, yeah. moving five inches. It moved like a couple pixels and then rerouted and the Hellions got passed. So painful loss for Phoenix. Yeah, yeah, pulled with a, a little bit of luck in the last game, but as soon as he realized that he could get away with all the damage that he dealt, he uh, played it very, very well. Yeah. And uh, so let's see if Paul is actually able to follow it up with the second win. We have him with Gas right now at the top of the map in the red color, and his opponent at the bottom, uh, Phoenix, with a hatch. He is obviously going for a hatch first build once again. The Zerg player for Type Gaming. Yes, sir. Yeah. Polt did get a little bit lucky to pull ahead there in that last game, but he actually he, he executed everything else perfectly. So great job by Polt. And uh, yeah, I think uh, I actually think Polt might be doing the same opening we saw Strelik do: gas into command center, into a later factory, or maybe not. Orbital. <laughs> He's blocking the add-on. He's blocking the add-on with the drone. Oh, that's so cute. cute. That is so cute. I've seen a game, um, I don't know about the players, I think it was in the KSL on uh, dual side when the, the when the Zerg player was actually able to delay this up, uh, the, the add-on for about 30 seconds because the Talon player moved out with his first Marine yeah. was on the other side of the map and it was just so awesome, it was really, really brilliant. My it's favorite my favorite is when somebody lifts and then like Zerg plants a hatchery there. <laughs> 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 oh. I had a pro, uh, Terran versus Terran where one of the Terran players, um, both of them were going on Belcher Beach, both of them were going for um, uh, Banshee play, Cloak Banshees, one of them building them proxy, he was scouted, and the second he lifts the factory in order to swap with the, uh, in order to swap with the, uh, with the starport, there was immediately an engineering bay thrown down to block the spot, that was also pretty yeah. cute. That is awesome. Yeah. A little bit of pressure here by Paul, nothing all too special. He realized that he can't do anything about it. So just a little bit of fake pressure. It's, it doesn't even build the second marine. He's just going for the reactor factory Hellions once again, building the command center inside his main base. Oh, SCV does sneak in. And uh, probably got a chance to click on the gas and see how much gas has been mined. Let's have another quick look. Yep. Meaning that Paul knows that uh, Phoenix has started his ling speed at least. First Queen's coming out. Looks like Phoenix will be dropping a Creep Tumor in his main and probably injecting the natural. And that's also one thing that you can, for example, do if you want to be super sneaky and you want to execute everything perfectly, just take the left gas instead of the right. Because when the SCV gets up the ramp, then yeah. uh, it won't be able to spot the extractor. So the Tyrell player will be still guessing how much gas there actually is. So yeah, that's one kind of cute thing that you yeah. can do. Little things that make big differences in the long run. StarCraft is much a game about denying information as it is about obtaining information. Yeah, exactly. That's perfectly. Uh, that's exactly how it is. If you don't know what your opponent is doing, or if you are able to deny some scouting information, you can get with a lot of shenanigans. And uh, there are the two Hellions, and look at the spine crawler once again not Man, in position. Phoenix, r really, <laughs> if this 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 part of your build order where you uproot the spine crawler, just take it out. <laughs> Cut it out and throw it away. Yeah. Uh, Polt doesn't manage to run past this time, and that's really fortunate for Phoenix. Yeah, that would have been really annoying. Dying to the same thing two times. Oh. And, you know, the spine crawler's kind of out of position. Like, if Polt tried to run past and the Ling's tangled the Hellions up on the ramp, the spine wouldn't even be, wouldn't even be able to hit him. So. It's really hard to defend with only one spine crawler on this map, so I really yeah. like that he's going for the SimCity with the Evolution Chamber now. 
the Lynx once again in the main base of Polt. I always check the, the minimap and I just see those Zerglings trying to get in there and I'm like, yeah, well, not gonna happen. Yeah. He's already walling off. And then suddenly you see those dots running around the main base of the turn player and you're like, what the hell? <laughs> what just happened? How is this possible? Another uh, good scout by Phoenix. I wonder if that'll prompt the same kind of reaction because he sees this exact same thing as he saw in the last game. This time though, he's got, uh, he's got those 14 extra drones. Yeah, he already goes for 20 additional Zerglings now, so he wants to go a little bit more aggressive, maybe catch those Hellions off guard and surround them. Mm -hmm. At the back, another Evolution yeah. Chamber. Really Pulse nice to see this time. Really. Up to, up to six. And I like what he's doing here, patrolling at the edge of the creep so that no new tumor can come down. And there he's going forward with the Spine Crawler. That's exactly what we've seen Lucky do against Strelok. He's trying to get in there. Hellion. Coming out! Ooh, close! Yeah. Too close! Oh, too close for comfort, but only losing one of them. Yeah, one Hellion does go down. Spinecrawler might actually creep forward one more time. I mean, the whole premise there is to make it so that the Hellions can't kill your tumors. And once again, a very, very late first tanks. We have the Starport. He is going for the Medivac straight away. The factory is not even equipped with the Tech Lab just yet. Yeah. Paul, with this build, Paul is really, really vulnerable against um, uh, Roach mailing. But that's something that Phoenix doesn't go for. Yeah, it's just not really part of his repertoire. He likes mutiling Bane. He likes uh, lots of lings. He likes running around the map and containing and countering. And that's, not, that's something that's harder to do with Roaches. Uh-oh, Zerglings. Oh, they, they got to surround the Hellions. Wow, how did that happen? Luckily, there's Marines close by. Yeah, very, very lucky for Paul. 73 supply against 66. Now the Medivac's out. With the Medivac, he can try to apply some pressure. He already has Stim. He's going for the combat shield. And Phoenix is following it up with an Infester. infestation pit now. Ling and Fester against, uh, against what's essentially pure bio. So this is not going to be terrible against what Polt is doing. Oh, Ling and Fester are great on Antigua, and we have plus one, plus one already being researched for Phoenix, so I really like his style here. I think this map also is a lot better for the style that we see from him. So let's see how much damage Polt can actually do with this. His timing is nice, but is he able to really pressure the Zerg player? Is he able to take down the third? Mm -hmm. Doing yeah, a good careful. job now. Phoenix kind of darting in and out there. He might actually be forced to cancel or even lose this third hatch, because it does complete. Oh, the Hellions need to be careful, but he's moving down uh, once again. The Marines save the day for the Hellions. Killing the Queen down. as well. Phoenix is losing a lot now. This push by Polt is so strong, taking down the third. What a nice timing for Polt. He yeah. just is able to, uh, to dodge those fungals, so there are no Infestors just yet. He's just researching Pathogen Glance, and this timing is just perfect for him. Yeah, it's a great timing against Ling only. If there were Banelings in the army, it would And look at the Spinecrawler. He's trying to reroute the Spinecrawler again, and he's losing the Spinecrawler without doing any damage at all, and Polt might just be able to end it. I think it actually could be the case right now. Uh, if, Fe if Phoenix started some Infestors right now, they would pop out with Fungal. He's going to try to engage one more time, but those Marines are put in a pretty good position, not able to be fully surrounded, and Marines wow. staying alive. 26 more Lings about to pop, and uh, with that, Phoenix should be able to clean this up, but he's going to continue to take damage. He's taking a lot of damage, and pulled. well, he overstims, but he can. He knows exactly no, that he's going to lose those units. No, not the Infestation Pit. No, Phoenix, you can't oh. lose your Infestation Pit. And oh. it's going down. Unbelievable. <laughs> He's even able to retreat. That is the that is the funny part about it. I thought he might lose all those Marines and it would still have been an awesome trade for him, but he is able to retreat with every single one of them. Ouch. That uh, hurts, man. That really and this that is was painful like, to watch. That was five seconds away from Pathogen Glands being complete, so uh, he lost the infestation pit and he lost the upgrade. So uh, now Pulp is going to continue to drop while pushing from the front. i got to say, this kid's TVZ is looking intense. This is really, really insane now because Paul is already on a third orbital command. He has a really, really decent harvester count. He's on 53 to 45 harvesters. He's getting additional barracks. He's going for the siege tank mode. He will just start attacking Phoenix over and over again, wave after wave after yeah. wave. And th I mean, it's really reached the point where Polt can just start throwing Marines at Phoenix and Phoenix can't do anything about it. There's no Banelings. Uh, Infestors with Fungal are still infinity away. Uh, Phoenix out on the map with some lings right now as if he wants to try and surround this little marine ball. The marines on their own are going to be a really a tough yeah. situation for him to deal with, but as soon as Paul starts throwing tanks um, in the army mix, I think uh, 
Phoenix will just have to GG out. Yep. I'm actually a little bit surprised that he's not being more aggressive with those Marines that he has. Yeah, I am too. I, f I sort of feel like he's got a big opportunity here. He might load up and go up into the main. Uh, or maybe he's just feeling afraid of this big l Ling squad that's out on the map. That could be it too. And here come the tanks. Tank Marine is now moving out of the main base. We have Boro being uh, researched for Phoenix. He's going for 10 additional drones and finally Infestors. Finally Infestors, and this might change it. So, I'm a, uh, as I said, I'm really confused that Paul did not decide to be more aggressive um, after killing the Infestation pit, because oh. he might, must have known that he already killed so much tech that there w it would take ages for his opponent to get in uh, Fungals into the mix again. But now he will run right into the Fungals with all those Marines, and this might be a problem. Yeah, if, uh, if there's a way back into this game for Phoenix, it's with some Immaculate Fungals. Uh, it's basically Polt's game to lose at this point, but, but with Infestors on the field, it's not, it's not an impossibility. We have a couple of links in the back, spotted with the Marine at the Naga Watchtower. At the same time, here are the Infestors, quite a lot of them. In total, there are eight. Oh. And wow, he is at the bottom of the ramp. What a club! Oh, oh Polt, great. what are you doing? Great fungal there. Oh, losing what? not what? a second. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> there we go. That was an uh, unfortunate series of fungals. Oh, uh, the run by with the Lingus. Welcome. Oh, no, no, no. Wow, too many Marines. Into the meat grinder. It's just too many. Too many Marines. 130 supply against 107. And here comes Phoenix infested Swarm X. And we have a lot of Zerglings. Not enough Marines to clear this. Oh. Yeah. Nope, he's if not those able. Lings had kind of come back to help clean this up, then that, that would have worked. Uh, but uh, and and he, he still actually does clean up everything. But it could have been Pulse a better fight. Pulse gave Phoenix a chance to come yeah. back into this game. Yeah, I mean the Phoenix is uh, he's not dead yet. He's not out of it. Pulse is definitely looking great. Uh, he's got the supply lead. His economy is booming. He's uh, 70 STVs to 54 uh, drones. Yeah, he's still looking very very strong. But he could have finished it. After yeah. killing the infestation pit, he could have finished the game if he would have been a little bit more aggressive. He was not, and now Phoenix now, has a fighting chance. To be fair, I guess we don't technically know that Polt knew that he took out the opportunity to build infestors. He didn't know if Pathogen Glands was finished. So maybe you know, Phoenix started eight infestors right when he was leaving. Well, he has three orbitals, so throwing down a scan shouldn't be the problem. Uh, that's, that's and we will see Fungals now, and he is going to point. take down all those SCVs, and of course also his opponent's mules, at least he should. Yeah, I think he's waiting for Fungal, and I think that's the right choice. Uh, infested Terrans can be cleaned up. Third base being built for Phoenix now, by the way. A lot more barracks, as you can see, for Paul and another command center. He has no idea about the uh, in Infestors. Yep. Uh, another little attack moving out on the map for Paul. And again, he's got a clumped up group of bio that is uh, very susceptible to a big Fungal. Doesn't go down just yet. Only three tanks in that army. I really, I really, really worry that Polt might be... Uh, Okay, now with tanks sieged up, it looks a little bit better. Oh, don't kill your own tanks, Polt. <laughs> that is entirely uncalled for. Oh, and here we have all those infested swarm eggs at the expansion, and they are going to rip the SCVs to shreds. Oh my gosh, every single SCV going to uh, going to go down there. 19 SCV kills for Phoenix at the same time. 15 drones being killed by Polt in the early engagements. There's the ball with the Marauders. Yep. Being attacked immediately outside tries the range to, uh, of any tanks, but he's not able to snipe the hatch. Tries to focus the hatch down, doesn't quite work out. Four siege tanks at the front there for uh, for Polt. 170 supply oh against 135. Oh, God, Ben, look at the main base. They're all Ooh, the Phoenix is going for it, Caldor, and he's gone out with infested Terrans, Fungals, and a lot of Zerglings. And this is uh, actually a surprisingly good fight for Phoenix. He cleans everything up again. Uh, Polt is reinforcing, so he does have more units than Phoenix seems to be able to answer for, but uh, tank count once more reset. There's a there's a fourth base now for Polt, so it definitely seems like Phoenix is, uh, you know, fighting, you know, an, an inevitable defeat right now, but, uh, but he's really hanging around. And he has Infestus now in the main base of Polt. Four Infestus in the main base of Polt, they might be able to do some damage later on. At the same time, as you said, the fourth base is being established. We have a Planetary Fortress upgrade. And let's see how many resources lost. 10,000 to 12,000. Paul is playing a little bit more cost efficient. Here are the infestors. Are we going to see a oh, drop in the main base? Yeah, but uh, there are units there. But, but are there enough. enough units there? I don't think so. These no. Marines are at 2-2 two, two right now. At the same time, oh, another push at the front. And uh, the infestors will all go down. And that 
makes this look like it could be a killing blow. That should be it. That should finally be it. Pulled with 167 supply against 85. Taking down the third base of his opponent. Still the drop in the main base is killing Infestus and taking out Tech. And he will probably kill the Hive as well. There is the G.